Welcome back to Gone Electric. It's been a few months since I last made a video, but now I'm back. And one big thing has changed since I last made a video. We got a new place. You can tell by the flowers in the back. Yeah, that gives it away. The really cool thing about this place is that it's powered entirely by solar, which means when I do level one charging for my ID4 in the garage, that electricity that it's getting is being produced via solar. And it got me thinking, I wonder how many of you out there who are soon to be EV owners, or maybe you just got your EV, and you're wondering to yourselves, can I survive with level one charging alone? So this video is dedicated towards showing you the amount of energy that you can plan to get with overnight charging from level one charging alone. Let's get it. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go out to the car as uh, Ruby tries to lick my leg and now she's chasing me down. I'm gonna go out to the garage to check my car's uh, state of charge. Uh, the reason is because I think it's pretty low and uh, we've gotta go someplace. We're actually going camping in a couple of days and I need to get my state of charge up to a decent level so that um, we make it to our destination. So I wanna to charge to 80% um, and I'm gonna start charging tonight. So the goal of this video is to show you my state of charge right now and it's currently, what are we at? It's 5 p.m where I am. Uh, I'm going to plug in right now and then in the morning we're going to go out maybe roughly probably 14 hours later probably around 7 a.m. and I'll show you the state of charge at 7 a.m. and you can kind of see how much uh, energy gets put back into the car with a 14 hour charge using level one charging only. Um, and remember that you know there are three basic types of charging for your EV. Uh, there's level one charging, which is just like with ba any basic three prong 120 volt outlet that you find throughout your house, which is what I use. That's what this video is about. Level one charging using a basic 120 volt outlet. Then there's level two charging, which you can do at home using a 240 volt uh, outlet. Uh, you can also use them about around town. They typically uh, will charge from charge your car from 20, 20% to 80% in somewhere between six and 10 hours, depending on the exact EV that you have. So those are like the, that's like the second fastest type of charging. The fastest type of charging is the DC fast charging um, that you'll find at Electrify America, EVgo, uh, some various charge point stations um, where you're charging your car from 20 to 80% in maybe 30 minutes, possibly even less. Uh, so today's video mostly has to do, or I should say, it's gonna relate to the, the vast majority of you who are, who are thinking that you're gonna try to survive solely on level one charging using a basic garage outlet, basically. Um, so let's go inside the car, check the state of charge, see where we're at, uh, then we'll plug in, then I'll check in with you probably around 7 a.m. tomorrow to see how much uh, the car has, uh, how much juice the car has gotten over that 14 hour charging period using just the, uh, the outlet here. Right, so uh, we're gonna use the level one char charging cable that came with my ID4, this is just the Volkswagen cable, level one cable, basic 120 volt outlet. Uh, let's check on the car's state of charge right now. Let's get in here. All right, so on uh, ID4, you just press in the, the, the uh, brake pedal to wake up the car and you can see that we're at 41%. And I want to get to 80%, uh, hopefully by Friday morning. Uh, so we've got, oh man, what's the math on that? We are, we're roughly 36 hours away uh, from the time that we're going to depart. I'm not sure we'll get to, to 80%. Uh, actually, you know, we, we, we shall see, but I think it may be close. So let's go ahead and plug in, and then uh, I'll check in with you tomorrow morning to see how much juice we've gotten. All right, so here again is the Volkswagen cable that comes with the car. This is a hook that I installed myself. It's really uh, beautiful work, I, I think. Really craft, very high quality craftsmanship. Oh, it's spinning around this way. Plug it in. White light, it's thinking, it's talking to the car and we've got a green light. Very good. Okay, so let me duck into the car to show you how fast we're charging. 
remember that DC fast charging will charge your car, depending on the EV that you have, but it'll charge up to, in some cases, over 200 kilowatts. Uh, my car, the max charge rate is uh, 135 kilowatts. And with level one charging, which is good to go, we're charging at one kilowatt. So one 135th as fast as DC fast charging. This is getting us three miles an hour at one kilowatt. So the car is pro projecting that uh, we will reach 80%. Oop, whoop, didn't mean to slide that. It'll uh, reach 80% by Friday at 6.12 a.m. We're leaving on Friday morning. And so this actually, according to what the car's uh, saying, um, it looks like we're gonna be right at 80% right as we are trying to leave, which would be kind of nice. Um, but in any case, uh, I'll see you in just a moment, uh, but really 14 hours, and we'll see how much juice has been added to the car in what you can kind of see as a typical overnight charge using level one charging. All right, I will see you bright and really early. And good morning. You're getting a good look at what I look like when I'm tired in the morning. Uh, got a little bit of a later start than I thought. Uh, it is 8.30 right now, so it's been about 15 hours since I uh, plugged the car in last night. Uh, let's go, go check the state of charge. Alright. And the light is thankfully still green. That means it's still charging. Let's flick the light on. And let's see what we got. Well, we're at 59%. So that means that over the last 15 hours straight of charging, uh, and by the way, there's the 59%. Over the last 15 hours of charging, we increased 18 percentage points. And there we go right there. There's what the infotainment says. Um, the charging speed actually increased slightly um, compared to what it said last night. Last night it said that we'd get to 80% by like 6 a.m. on Friday. Now it says 3 a.m. So a little bit of an adjustment, um, which is kind of nice. So over the course of 15 hours, then, we increased our state of charge by 18 percentage points from 41% to 59%. We charge basically at a rate of a little over one percentage point per hour. Right now, the question is, what does an increase in 18 percentage points on your state of charge get you in terms of range? How many miles did it give you back? Um, now, my car with a 100% charge, I get about 270 miles. So that means that per one percentage point of charge, I travel about 2.7 miles. So increasing uh, over over the course of 15 hours increasing my state of charge by 18 percentage points let's see what's 18 times 2.7 it's like a, a little less than 50 miles like 48 miles so over the course of uh 15 hours of charging in my garage using level one only i got back about 48 miles so for me, that's great because my commute to work is only two miles, two and a half miles. So I survive easily using solely type, uh, sorry, uh, using solely level one charging. Now, if you have a super far commute in the morning to work, uh, to work and back, getting 48 miles back over a 15 hour period might not work for you. Also, if you get back later and have to uh, leave early, earlier than I do and you can't plug in for 15 hours, that's something you have to take into consideration. Um, so the big thing for you is, you know, if you're going to rely on, on level one charging is knowing what your daily uh, mileage is that you have to travel. Right? That's, a, that's a big thing you have to consider. For me, it works. So hopefully this kind of helped you out in determining whether you can uh, survive on level one or whether, whether you might have to uh, install level two charging, which you can do, um, or whether you might have to hit up DC fast charging from time to time. All right, guys, well, we're back in the saddle, so we're going to be making uh, more videos coming up you know, in the near future. So I look forward to seeing y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs>